Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So if you guys can believe it, I already have a bucket full of empties to show you. And I feel like I just did my empties video literally two weeks ago. So these are products that I finished up that had some dents in them. Most of these products actually already had dents in them. So it's not like I just went through a whole bunch of products that were brand new, full to the brim, but I did finish up a lot of stuff and I can't wait to show you guys and tell you how I feel about them so if you want to see the products that I went through just keep watching so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with these three wallflowers that I just took out because I just replaced them all around the house so this first one is juicy pink grapefruit and I've showed you guys this one a few times because I have a I did have a lot of them because I had bought some from semi-annual sale for 75% off and that's pretty much the only time I like to buy wallflowers so if I buy my wallflowers, they are at semi-annual sale for 75% off, or I just use a free wallflower coupon. It's not often that I'll participate in a wallflower sale unless it's something that I really, really want, but most of the time that's never the case because with wallflowers, of course, they're always hit or miss, but I have found some that I do really like and as long as I still have some brand new wallflower plugs, I'm gonna keep on purchasing them. So the next one I went through was Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. This one was very strong and you know, I don't really care that much for cinnamon scents. This one was pretty good though, but it's just more of a fall type of scent. So it's not something I would repurchase right now. I may consider it in the future. If it was on sale, I would probably pick it up again, but it's not like a love. Juicy Pink Grapefruit is another one that's pretty strong to me. So I would buy that one again. And then last but not least, we have Strawberry Pound Cake. And of course she was throwing real loud and proud. And I actually had this one in the laundry room. So every time you go in there it would just be a nice whiff of Strawberry Pound Cake, very strong, very long lasting. And I will always repurchase Strawberry Pound Cake because she's Strawberry Pound Cake. So I have this body wash from Shea Moisture and this is in the scent Coconut and Hibiscus. And this is a foam body wash. So I did pick this up on clearance sometime last year from TJ Maxx it was just okay I wouldn't say that it was mind-blowing it had a nice little coconut and hibiscus scent but it wasn't anything that I was like you know oh I just have to have this again it was good for what it was it definitely had a nice lather to it it had a nice foam it made me feel clean but it's not gonna be a repurchase for me next I finished up a bubbly body wash from philosophy and you guys know I have so many philosophy scents because I love that brand. What I will say is that with some philosophy scents, I do have like that body wash type of scent to it. And I'm not sure if that's because it can also be used as a shampoo and a bubble bath. I don't know if they add a little something in extra, but I do get that scent. So some of them I don't love as much as I used to. This one was a pretty good one, but I mainly bought it so that I could, it could help me get through champagne toast. And you guys know that I am so over champagne toast. I was so happy to finish it up. So this one smelled good, but it kind of did put me in the mind of champagne toast. So for right now, I'm okay without it until I'm craving like a champagne scent, but this one did smell really good. And this is one of the few that doesn't give me that like body wash base soap type of smell so I do like it would I repurchase it in the future not really sure but it did its job for when it was here I finished up the Garnier skin active Meister cleansing water and this is what I use to take off my makeup so I don't really use cleansing balms like that at all I know like I always get the suggestion whenever I show makeup wipes and Meister water but of course we are all different this is what I usually prefer I'll put this on a cotton pad take my makeup off put this on my makeup wipes and take my makeup off this is just always work for me so I will definitely always be repurchasing this sometimes they do have like sales at Ulta you can get like buy one get one free or buy one get one half off and that is what I usually like to do so it's time for me to go ahead and get some more I finally finished this Onyx bathhouse in the scent marshmallow and this is their foaming bath scrub so this I believe is my last holiday scent from Onyx bathhouse so this one like I like I've been saying here lately the scents are not blow your socks off type of scents in fact some people don't even like the scent but I really enjoy the formula so 
This one in particular, I'm not sure if I would repurchase this one because it really didn't smell much like marshmallow to me, especially as I got into the nitty gritty of using it. But the formula is always top tier for me. It is not too abrasive. It has that nice foaming aspect to it and it leaves my skin feeling really soft without feeling really um, dry. So I definitely would purchase Onyx Bathhouse again. This is a random purchase I picked up from Burlington last year. So this is the Suave Flavor Factory Watermelon Slush shampoo so that's a whole mouthful so this is actually a kid shampoo this was in the kids section but I love anything that has scent to it and this actually wasn't bad to me it didn't dry my hair out and it smelled really nice so this was huge it took me forever to go through so I'm not sure if I'll repurchase this in this size but I do like this scent and I do actually enjoy suave products I finished this Dove instant foaming body wash and this is just like the original deep moisture so this one of course smells very fresh and clean it has such a nice lather to it i love how this smells i love how this feels it does not dry me out so i would definitely buy this one again and this actually came in a little gift set that came with some other dove products so if i seen something like that i would definitely pick it up again this is another purchase i believe from either last year or even the end of 2020 so i've been trying to knock stuff out that i've been having for a while so this is the johnson soft and pamper body wash and this was also another Burlington purchase so this was a pineapple scent and this was like okay I wouldn't say it was all that I feel like some of us you know picked this up because it was like during the hype when you know body care and things were just getting really hyped up here on YouTube and this was definitely one of them it was an okay body wash it wasn't like the best and I feel like the scent was just okay as well like it was cool to pair with my pineapple scents of course I feel like I did get clean and it got the job done but it wasn't something that I'm like oh I need that one again I'm definitely okay with using this once and tossing it out I finished this coconut frosting body wash from philosophy and I couldn't get that last bit out so I didn't even bother trying to wash it out either I'm just happy to get you know through my collection and get this stuff done but this one I had bought and it was sealed and I didn't you know return it or anything because it was just like an all right scent so this thing coconut frosting I was expecting it to be a lot more sweet than it was this just really gave me a standard coconut scent which I don't mind like a standard coconut but if you're gonna say frosting I'm expecting a lot more sweetness so for that reason I would not pick this one back up I finally finished one of my Easter soaps that I completely forgot about so this is the happy easter tutti frutti candy scent and this smells just like the body care in my opinion just nice and sugary sweet i really enjoyed this scent and i would definitely repurchase it especially if they have it for 75 percent off it's in my annual sale which is starting saturday instead of monday so i hope you guys are ready because i definitely am but whatever i see when it, as far as it comes to hand soaps and things like that i'm gonna go ahead and swoop them up I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up because I'm not too picky when it's 75% off you feel me so but this one was very nice I finished this Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore conditioner so I really did enjoy this conditioner it made my hair feel really soft and it also had like a nice vanilla Shea scent to it it was very thick and consistency so I would often use it as a deep conditioner in my hair so pretty much every time I wash my hair I use a conditioner or a hair mask for deep conditioning purposes because my hair always needs a lot of moisture it's very dry so this is one that i definitely would pick up again and they sell this like regularly but you can also find this at ollie's for a little bit more of a discount as well they may also sell it at burlington too i can't really remember right now but i believe it may be in like discount stores as well so check those stores out first if you want to try that rather than going to walmart or target or something like that because they are still sold right now for full price i have a single wick candle and this is in scent frozen lake and this is a candle my daughter actually finished because she enjoys frozen lake i don't enjoy this scent because it is far too masculine for me although i do enjoy a masculine scented candle this one is just too strong for me but she likes it so i love that for her <laughs> 
this will be a repurchase for her if we seen it again. So I finished up what has become one of my favorite candles and this is Toasted Coconut Cupcakes. So this one is one that I did not have high hopes for at first, but once I actually started burning this for myself, I fell in love with it. It's a really gourmand, cakey, toasted coconut scent, just like what it says. And it just smells really good. It's very strong. It can definitely fill a room. And I would definitely repurchase this. This is actually my second one of these candles that I went through and I do have one more that I picked up from an outlet so I'm definitely holding on to that one until I get another one of these because I love this candle it's very nice. I finished this Biosense pore purifying mask and excuse how nasty this looks but this was actually a pretty nice mask. Of course I dropped it. This was actually a pretty nice mask and I feel like it really cleared my pores because every time I use it I feel like I had like that blur effect on my face so I would actually use this again. This was like a detoxifying type of mask and it also helps that it had like a mint green color when it came out and I really like that. I don't know why but you guys know I'm, I'm weird about colors and things like that but besides that this definitely made me feel like my face was getting nice and purified so I would purchase this with my own money this was actually a sample size that I got I believe from Sephora so definitely check this out so I went through my favorite toothpaste which is the crest 3d white and of course I would always repurchase this toothpaste it just always makes me feel clean and I do feel like it whitens my teeth so this is definitely a repurchase always I finished this Glade Sunday fun day little room spray and this just goes in the automatic room sprayer I fell in love with this scent. It is so nice. I feel like this smells just like strawberry ice cream. Very appropriate for the spring and summer months. So if you can still find this, I would definitely get my hands on it. I think I only bought one, so that's shame on me. But if I find this again, I will definitely be picking this up again as well. I did actually get this from Walmart. Um, This next candle I went through was Iced Cranberry Scone. So this is like a 75% off candle that I picked up from semi-annual sale, I believe leave last year either last summer or it was in the winter time I really can't remember but I do remember this being a nice candle it didn't have like a crazy throw on it but it was nice for what it was and I completely forgot about it so I had to go ahead and finish that up but if you can see I wasn't watching the candle and it wasn't burning for that long but for some reason the wick moved all the way to the side and that's pretty scary because as you can see it started like burning the side of the glass which we don't want so i'm glad i hurried up and caught that and put this candle out because i don't want any accidents happening so i finished up this sweet red mango candle and this one i was expecting more out of this one because i had heard great reviews on it but for me it just wasn't like all that it was a pretty nice bedroom candle for me i was hoping that i would get that strong juicy red mango that our friend cynthia was talking about that she had and of course i know there's probably like different batches and things like that i just wish the consistency with some of these products was the same throughout for everyone but it was a pretty nice candle if it was 75 percent off i would buy this again but on like a candle sale or anything like that i really wouldn't be reaching for this so this is like Kind of a up in the ear type of purchase i finished a confetti daydream shower gel and i absolutely hate this scent so this is not going to be a repurchase i actually picked this up my daughter did enjoy this but if you guys have kids that like bath and body works you know sometimes they don't finish up their products so you kind of have to step in to help to make sure stuff doesn't go bad and make sure you get your money's worth but I like this the most in the shower gel but as I was using it it still gave me that floral that I do not like at all in the bottle it smells much sweeter but like the body care and the spray I just simply cannot like it's just way too floral for me way too strong and I don't like this scent so I definitely would not be repurchasing this at all what's funny is that with confetti daydream and butterfly and scents like that i know a lot of people are saying they're very similar some people even think they are the same but i absolutely despise confetti daydream and i even had someone get very nasty with me on instagram saying that 
the scent was the same i'm just choosing not to see it that way but i just feel like we all smell things differently and i don't know why we have to argue or fight over things like that because you may see similarities just because of the scent notes but that doesn't mean that they are the same or that someone else is going to smell them the same so i just want to put that out there because i don't understand why when we smell things differently we have to get into it with each other because that's not that's not what's up so confetti daydream is definitely not a repurchase for me i went through a dove cream oil bar soap and this is one of my favorite scents from dove i feel like at this point i have many but this one smells so good to me it's very perfumey very strong just grown and sexy like i wish they would make this into a lotion i think someone did tell me they made this to a lotion but i'm not sure if it's the same like exact scent or not i really need to check that out but i love this so much and i feel like if you want like a nice perfumey bar soap please check out this dove cream oil i always find this in burlington and little stores like that so i'm not sure if they're at walmart or other main chain stores but definitely check out your discount stores if you want to try that out i finished up some bunny loves you sprinkled donut hand soap so i can't believe i actually finished two hand soaps within like two weeks but i did so <laughs> this one smelled really good i really liked it it was a nice fluffy donut scent like powdered sugar and sweet at the same time very enjoyable and i definitely would buy that one again i finished my into the night shower gel because you guys know that combo that i keep talking about i know you're tired of hearing about it but that confetti cake pop into the night combo had me in a chokehold so i did go ahead and finish up the shower gel that's be repurchased because i love into the night went through a coconut cream pie candle and i actually have been really enjoying finding candle blends with my single wick candles like that's how i've been trying to make myself use them up because other than that i do not use my my single wicks like that i feel like i really need a push to use them so when i have been finding like little scents to go together i've been absolutely loving it. and i feel like i had burning with my sweet carrot cake candle so anything like warm and toasty i feel like will go great with this because i know some of the single wicks are not really strong but when you burn them together you get a much better throw like i burned two coconut cream pies together in the kitchen and those smelled really good i really got a nice throw from burning two of them so if you have enough single wicks of course definitely try that out or put them in your bathroom or something like that but single wicks i mostly either get with a free reward or i buy my single wick so i went through a room spray and this is the cookie caramel rush from glade of course i really enjoy this scent it's a nice caramel forward scent not really too much to talk about with this scent because i've talked about it before but it's a very nice warm spray and i have so many of them i don't need to buy this again but i would definitely buy this again if i did not have any i finished this tree hut banana muffin scrub and i will really tell you guys that i just absolutely despise the scrub like it smells so nasty to me once i really started using it but i just went ahead and finished it up and the reason it smelled nasty to me is because it was like very warm and weird i don't know but i just went ahead and used it i could stomach this more than that strawberry scrub that came out that i did not like at all not one bit but this one it was just like i don't know i just don't really like banana scented things so i feel like that was really hard for me to use up it wasn't like a stinky scrub but I didn't really like it at all it was way too warm for me but this one i believe is discontinued anyway so even if i wanted to repurchase it i couldn't unless i found some crazy price on mercari to buy it because i'm sure it's on there i just know it's on there but that's a no so i finished up these assured brand sleep aid epsom salt um little lavender scented soak so i pretty much use these for my relaxing baths and i also use these to like do me me and my daughter's feet so these smell pretty nice i actually picked these up from dollar tree i have one more pack of these so i would definitely buy that again because it is very relaxing and very nice to use i finished up these alive brand women's gummies and these are multivitamins I would most certainly not buy these again these were very strange like i did not like the texture one bit they were not like regular gummies to me i didn't i don't know they just didn't really taste that great at all but i just took them every day because they were vitamins but they definitely had that vitamin smell 
and they really tasted and felt strange. So this brand, I would not buy again. As always, I went through an Eco Style Olive Oil Gel. I'll tell you guys about this gel all the time. I love it. I feel like it does not dry out my hair and it also does not flake up on me either. So definitely try this out if you are looking for some new gel to use. And they did change the packaging of this because it did look a little bit different from the last one that I had. So I finished up these facial wipes and I did pick this up from TJ Maxx and this is in the scent Rose Petal. And this came in a two pack so there were 80 in each pack i did enjoy these and these were only 5.99 for that huge pack i would definitely buy these again because i feel like they weren't like too heavily scented and they also stayed wet the entire time because they have that little snap clothes so i do enjoy that and i would purchase them again i went through a whipped vanilla chiffon shower gel and i absolutely love this scent so much it's like a nice peach vanilla scent it's just very delicious smelling i just really enjoy this so this is one of their retired scents so I believe sometimes you can find this online and you can always find this at the outlet and for semi-annual sale I've seen this pop up on the tables as well sometimes they pop up for 75% off but then sometimes they also pop up for 50% off which I'm not really sure why but yeah but I love that scent so much and I would definitely buy that again I finished my cozy fireside s'mores body wash from Bodycology this is something that I picked up last winter so I'm very proud that I'm finished with this because I actually have a backup that my boo sent me because she actually sent me a whole set of these so I'm very happy that I already have another one this is a nice cozy creamy vanilla with a hint of chocolate I really enjoy this and I would definitely buy this again. So I finished this got to be glued blasting free spray. This is just like the little mini. I don't really buy the large ones. I need to get a large one because I haven't had a large one in a while. But this is my favorite holding spray. If you do not want your hair to move, if you have something that you just want to stay in place, give this a try. It will not move. It will not budge it will stay right in place especially with the actual gel that they have you literally need to use water to get the gel like to loosen up because it will stay all day long so i definitely um you know would suggest this if you have like a bun you want to do or if you have like you want to get those flyaways from moving or some curls or something this stuff right here it will not budge finished up a pocket back and this is in the christmas morning mimosa scent i really enjoyed this scent i feel like every time i use this my best friend kept asking like what is that so this is the christmas morning mimosa it just smells nice and sweet like a nice sweet champagne and i would most certainly purchase it again and I feel like I haven't went through many pocket bags because I'm switching them out pretty much every day, which I need to stop and I need to be focused on one, but it's so hard because I like matching my pocket bag with my scent of the day as much as I can. It's just really fun to me. Like, especially if you have like a large collection, it's fun to have variety in your life. So that's what I do. But I finally went through this Body Fantasies vanilla scent. So this was my first little dive into the body fantasies realm and i really enjoyed this it was very deep vanilla like i really felt like it was just like a nice vanilla extract scent so i would definitely buy that one again i finished up this breath spray and this is just a cvs brand but when i tell you this stuff will have your breath fresh especially when you just want a little nice refresh so i bring this with me when i'm going out because nobody wants you in their face with alcohol breath and i'm very conscious about everything on me smelling good at all times so this right here and i think you can find some like in dollar tree and things like that breath spray is a game changer because gum is not just going to cut it especially if you've been eating certain things or if you've been drinking alcohol you need to have something like this on deck because you don't want that nasty stale breath in somebody's face or if you've been drinking coffee you need to make sure you give your breath a nice refresh if you're not at home to brush your teeth so that's tea and then I finished up this mascara. My mom actually gave this to me on Christmas in 2020. And this was actually a BB mascara. I hate to see it go because I love how glittery and pretty this is. But it's time for her to go bye-bye. I actually used it up and I really did like it. So if I did see this again, I would buy this again. I finished this e.l.f. concealer and this is the hydrating camo concealer and I really did enjoy this I feel like this was like a dupe for the covergirl concealer which I do also enjoy as well so this is one I believe you can find at like all the little drugstores 
or you can find this at like Walmart or stores like that. But this was very inexpensive, but it really did get the job done. It looks like it's not trying to focus, but there, that is what that looks like. So last item, I've been having this for a while and I feel like I used to just really save my perfumes for special occasions, but I don't do that anymore because every single day is a special occasion and I quit having that mindset of lack. I quit having that mindset of I need to wear my perfumes to a certain place and I wear my perfumes whenever I want. So I finally finished this up. This is actually my second bottle and this is the Chance by Chanel Otandre. I never know how to say this guys, but this is the pink one. This is my favorite one and I do need to try the other ones out, but this will always be a repurchase for me. This was like one of the first expensive perfumes I bought myself so this always has a little special place in my heart but this scent is like a bright fresh grapefruit kind of floral scent I always get compliments on this even though this is not like I feel like like a heavy hitter perfume every time I wear this somebody tells me I smell really good or they ask what I'm wearing so for that reason I will always repurchase this as well those are the items that I went through within these last two weeks like I'm so shocked and I do have some project use it up items to show you guys as well so definitely stay tuned for that video I have a little update for you and I'll be honest I have not been doing the best on my project use it up because it's just been so much stuff I've been trying to play with and get back into and just making sure I show my whole collection some love so definitely be on the lookout for that and if you want to see more content like this and if you're ready for semi-annual sale on saturday and you've been making a little room leave me a pink heart in the comments so that i know that you made it this far so if you want to see more content like this make sure you subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye guys